welcome back my little cat travelers to phantom argentory part two guys i'm with silver today hey so we are gonna gonna continue part two guys hopefully no sound issue this time i really hope everything is fine so we're gonna go with the uh, part two excited i mean yeah great yeah let's <laughs> see let's see let's see what it is I'm, I'm i'm also excited i'm also excited all right um what's wrong no th th this is not the right party this is my boss killing party. And what's wrong with that? Um, I like to use these character because the zombie is in it, and you like a zombie. I don't know. Because I like using I like using characters that you enjoy. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's bald guy. It's. Hmm. Why would it work? The formula is useless. Is it a guy? It's flawless. I think he said flawless. Is it a guy? You sure? Who knows? Hmm, who are you? You have business with me? We're looking for a way to get promoted to Kupam Rum rank. Flegling Ferum rank alchemist? Hmm, I'm Ferum myself. I guess you're stuck on the Kupam trial too? The Kupam trial? Yes, those who aspire to be to, uh, to Kupam must learn to weave the fabric of life. That's the only way to ascend. Huh, what does that, what does that mean? Oh, then you see the seal on the stairs up to the Kupram chamber? That's a Kupram trial. For a Ferrum to reach Kupram, they got to complete the task. Hmm. So if we complete it, we'll be promoted to Kupram. What's weaving the fabric of life? To weave the fabric of life. In other case, create an artificial homunculus. Artificial homunculus? Make a living creature, you mean? I didn't know you could do that with alchemy. Amazing! Can we pull it off, though? The, one, uh, the ones from the Cuprum Trials aren't that advanced. No piece of cake, of course. You have to follow a formula using the correct ingredient. I thought I had the formula mastered, but no luck so far. The transmutation fails every time. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I see. I guess getting the next rank is not an easy feat. No, it's not, Aldo. What do you think, Aldo? We're running against the clock. That's it all. That settles it then. We should team up. Huh? Team up? I'll give you the formula and ingredients, and you can try to trans the you can try the transmutation yourself. Maybe watching someone else do it will help me see where I went more wrong. And if you get it right, well, both will both earn the Kupram rank. That makes sense. You got a deal. Yeah, let's do it. I feel that fate. I, I feel that. I feel that fate is at work here. Let me fill you in the, on the detail. Obtain formula, alchemist fluid, homunculus. What is this, Harry Potter? I know, that's what I kept telling you last week. That there's a formula. Gather the illicit ingredient and transmute them in the alchemy furnace there. Just like following a recipe. Aw, I'm getting hungry now. First, try transmuting the alchemical fluid for crafting the homunculus. You'll find what you need here. Yay! Crafting, great. In the tower inventory, you, you can find formulas and alchemist items. By combining the items written on a formula and the alchemic furnace, they will produce new alchemy items. Collect and combine alchemy items to, pro to progress in a dungeon and story content. Some alchemical items created from formula can be used in further formula. Once found a formula, an alchemist item will not be lost on use. Alright, okay. great. Great. Ooh, the alchemy powder. Shiny thing here. Pure water. And then I guess, what will you do? Uh, no. Is there any other shining object? No. All right. So well, gonna... not in this room. Should First, transmute the alchemy fluids. Once you have the thermal ingredient, put it in the furnace. All right. Okay. About transmutation. There you go. Yeah. I guess the pure water. Yeah, I'm guessing. Transmute. Yeah, we are playing at the Iris. Ooh, okay. I got some fluid. 
So what does he want us to do next? He wants us to uh, give give him some okay, fluid. Okay, so he's, he's happy. Aha! Looks like you managed to transmute some alchemical fluid. Yeah. It's wild how those ingredients turn into something completely different just by following these steps. <laughs> All thanks to my fantastic formula and a little help from you, of course. Alright, now it's time for the real challenge. Crafting an homunculus. You'll need alchemical fluid and something containing the soul information. Soul information? Uh-huh. It apparently found in a part of the body. As far as I can tell, most people use blood. What? I hate ouchy stuff. Yeah, I'm with you. So I looked for a substitute and I found one. You did? That's great. What's the substitute? Hair. <laughs> oh. Ah. ah. <laughs> That's kind of clever. Huh? Oh. I actually had a super thick mane, but I got sick of ha having to groom it, so I shave it off. I like this look. I think it suits me. But now, but now that backfired. So he chose this look, huh? Hmm. You know. I mean, you sure? So I've been transmuting with cat I mean, parents. Aldo's hair looks like he's, it's never been brushed. Yeah. So I don't know what he is, you know, <laughs> talking about here. But. So I've been transmuting with cat hair instead, but things aren't going well. Hmm. Maybe that's why it keeps failing. Oh yeah, I should try it. I should try it out using your own hair. It might work. Or hair. Yep. Anyone will do. Luckily, all three of you are sporting bouncy luck. Okay, shall we talk this over? Um, should I use Aldo, Nona, or Lele? Aldo is a cat. That could be funny. Um, goodness, that's a that's a good question. <laughs> I guess. Um, I guess Lele would probably cry and like yeah. make a fuss. Um, I don't know. Who do you want to use? Aldo or Nona? Yeah, it seems like Nona is a no nonsense kind of gal. She'll probably be okay with it. There you it. go, Nona. You want to use my hair? You don't need. To, uh, you don't have to pluck yourself bald for anything. Just two or three times. I know it's unfair to ask when I who got zero hair to offer. <laughs> Fine. Just this once, okay? Obtain Nona's hair. Okay, that takes care of the hair. Now I'll try conjuring up an homunculus. Oh, oh, I hope... I have a feeling that she's already an homunculus. But, you know. Right, really? Homunculus. Yeah. I think it's gonna backfire. Because if we would have picked Aldo, it would have backfired too, as, as he a cat. I don't know. Maybe I was speaking nonsense. Let's see. Hmm, nothing's happening. Grr. Not good, huh? Give it a second. Jeez. Impatient much? Hi! It exploded! Oh, and we lost the sound. Great. The explosion. Yeah, the explosion messed it up. Oh, what we is it? created life. <laughs> it's a little bundle of joy. Amazing. It's really moving. Whoa, it worked. You actually did it! Thanks! Well, it's all thanks to your formula. Yes! All my hard work paid off. I earn, I've earned the Cuppum Rock at last. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. It doesn't look anything like the hair don donor, though. Of course not. We're talking about a few strands of hair. It takes a great alchemist like Paracillus to create an homunculus that looks perfectly human. They do say a few characteristics of the donor cares over, though. Cuckoo. <laughs> it looks 
scared. Oh, don't be scared. Come over here. <laughs> just like when you, uh, just like when we met you in the maze, Nona. Quit it, Aldo. Cuckoo. He looks like those little creature from Zelda with the leaf on their face. It's adorable. I think he likes you, Nona. I know what we should call it. Monk. Monk? From a monculus, you mean? Huh. That's a cute name for a little cutie. Alright, it's time to take this guy over the Copram Trial. Once we stand the complete homunculus in front of the seal, we should be granted the Copram Rank. Rank. Oh. Ah, that's a new, that's a neat little mechanic. We're, we're making our own, uh... Yeah. Abomination. But, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> you know, we're, 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 yeah. we are playing with life. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely an abomination. Yeah. Like, what is he, like, marshmallow? Huh? What is it all do? Oh, I just thought I saw someone on the on the foot of the stairs. So the seal is the Copram trial, right? Those who aspire to Copram must learn to weave the fabric of life. All right, okay, now let's hold up our Ferrum badges. Oh, why is he orange? Hail, Cupram Alchemist Weaver of Fabric of Life. Your badge has been upgraded. You can now enter the Cupram Chamber. Yay. But not the guy to the left. Obtain the Cupram badge. We made it. Yay! Our badge changed color. I guess we can pass through now. Wait. It looks like not all the badges changed. It figures. I had a feeling I'd have to use my own hair to get promoted. What? But you helped us out so much. Oh, don't worry. Thanks to you, I know what I have to, what I have to do now. I could wait until my hair grows back, but I'm an alchemist. This is my chance to develop a hair growth formula. A hair growth formula? See you upstairs. Me and my glorious mane will be right behind you. Oh. I hope he gets back like a giant yeah. afro. I hate that after all he did for us, he won't be able to join us upstairs. Yeah, that's a shame. I wish there was something we could do for him. Well, let's pass on the detail we come across. That might help him. Second floor? I suppose, yes. I feel bad for the ball guy. Yeah, well, they all felt bad for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, at least our little homunculus stays around. Alright, okay, now we can go to the next floor up, the Copper Maria. Next up, the Argentum area where we'll find Alma. And Parasolsis is on the next floor above that, right? In the Orum area. Right, but we need to see Almas first if we want to speak to Paracelsius. Our little thing, uh... Hey! Where are you going, Monk? Wait up! Come on, Aldo. Let's get going. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the music's very cute. The it's yeah. very reminiscent of old RPGs. And these are your favorite. Right, I'm, just, I'm gonna... Yes, they are. I just wanna see, like, you know, My if there's anything favorites. fun stuff in, the, in these rooms. You know, sometimes, uh... Those books. Well, if it were an old school RPG, yes, there's definitely books to read and people to talk to. Oh, 
there's a lot of side story that we could do, like learning the origin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this game is full of lore. You just you just need to take your time and read it. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit it's a little bit like complex and like all over the place, but oh oh wow. Okay, this, I was not expecting a demon like that. This elixir will crush any magic. Sometimes my talent scares me. No. Okay. I love. Yeah, uh, I, I love I lo everything about the zone. Yeah the, yeah, the visuals of the zone. It's yeah, like with all the uh, the, the fish skeleton and, and everything. To, to some degree, it reminds me of Zeal too, with all the magicians mm. and and the bookshelves and, and the crystals all over. Yeah. Uh, Zeal's a little cleaner. This place is a bit more like uh, full of plants and and a bit more like a. Uh, oh, Cute whimsical. Yeah. Whereas Zeal's yeah. a bit more serious, but it reminds me of it regardless. Well, maybe Zeal is a bit more serious because it was like limited with like the graphic of the Super Nintendo. No, I think it was meant to be too. Like the shit that goes down there is pretty serious too. Like it's heavy, right? Oh, food storage. Dancing pedal. And a kitty cat. And a weird kitty cat. He's not weird. He's so cute. All right, you want to do uh, his voice? Cat lover alchemist. If I just fine tune the amount. There. Hmm. With this elixir, I can chat with cute little kitty cats. Can I? No, I, I can't. Oh, come on. Can I? Can I make this? I, I, I want to talk to the kitty cat. I need. I need more cats. I need more af frog af uh, squid cats. Yeah, you're torturing this poor animal. I am not torturing this poor animal. This poor animal loves me. Look at him. He looks nah, sad. his dignity gone. He looks cool. Monk, wait! Aha! I found Alma! You're still here, are you? Yep, as you are! As you, as are you, but I thought you, your floor was the next, what is that, I, in, uh, yep, as you, as are you, as are you, but I thought your floor was the next one up. I can go wherever I please. Anyway, looks like you've managed to enlist another alchemist to help get promoted to cup from. But the next climb won't be so easy. Argentum's as far as copper mass. Well, sil uh, silver is from copper. Wait, how did you know we got help from another alchemist? Oh. Argen Argentum alchemists can just tell that kind of thing. Really? Well, whatever's the case, I'm glad we ran into you again. You are? You see, we actually had a favor we want to ask to ask you. A favor? <laughs> and why would you come to me of all people for a favor? It's something only you can do. Please, will you will you hear us out? Fine, I'll hear what you have to say. But that's it. I'm not making any promises. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Don't get your hopes up yet, Aldo. We really need to see Paracelsius before the experiment in two days. You want to see my master? Strange thing to want, but that's why you came to me. Because I'm his disciple? I mean, I would be able to take you to his room. But he's another rank above mine. He's Orm, the highest level in the Tower of Agenturi. Newly promoted cup room folks like you can't just walk in there and... I don't care about any of that. I just came here to chat with you. But I thought you came here to see my ma- I 
want to know more about alchemy. And I want to see you at work. Oh, and I want to see that weapon of yours again. It's so cool. It is pretty cool. You think? Well, if you really want to know about alchemy, then I guess I'll just have to take you all on as my disciples. Your disciples? Um, no. Yes. The guild has an apprentice system. The same system makes me Paracelsus' disciple. As my disciples, you'd be allowed to enter the Argentum area. And I would then be able to take you to the Orem area to see my master. So you take us to Paracelsus? Well, it's perfectly reasonable that my master meets disciples of his disciples, surely. And I suppose I'll have to teach my disciples the basics of alchemy, too. So you'll teach us? Yay! This is so exciting! But on one condition. I'll only take you on as my disciples if you agree to help me with my research. We get to help out with your work, too? Oh, that sounds like so much fun! This isn't for fun, okay? We'll be the one, uh, you'll be there to help me get my research done, not mess around. Sure, we can help you. But what would you like us to do? I'll tell you the details over in my room, but first things first. You're gonna need some experience here in the cup room area before I'm officially ment uh, I can officially mentor you. But huh, we're not really up to anything that requires, well, any real skill, right? Relax. It's just a formality. I'll give you a task. All you need to do is complete it. Let's see now. How about you bring me three elixirs from the alchemists on this level? What's an elixir? It's a special potion used to enhance a molecule. And the main focus of alchemists on the cup room level. Just tell them I'll the sent you, and I'm sure they'll help you out. Third elixir, got it. Let's go speak to the alchemists on this floor then. Alright. Cute, right? Cute? Absolutely. Alright, let's see who are the alchemists. Alright, let's see who are the alchemists. Just gonna move here this little bit. There we go. Alright. Well, I'm gonna talk to this young man here. Yes, I think that the little sign above his head says that you should I do know. so. I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna voice <laughs> them. Whoa, what are you doing? Hmm, who are you guys? He's confident. I know, oh. To give him a confident look. We're Alma's apprentices. We want some of your elixir. My elixir? Alma got you running errands, huh? Hey, you look like you look like a mage. What brings you to the Tower of Argentoris? Argentori? Um, well, it'll take a while to explain. So I won't. Never mind, you're here now. Feel free to check out my research. What are you researching? <laughs> the sword that sent mage like you running to the to the hills. I'm developing an elixir that repels magic. It repels magic. Is that even possible? Yes. Mages are held in high esteem by the by the palace these days, and golems built by artifacts protect the city. But once I complete the elemental repulsion formula, I'm researching times will change. Um, uh, what's and what is what is this elemental damaging thingy? Well, it's actually built upon part research. A monculus that negates magic and elemental attack that sure comes comes in handy. A new generation of soldiers to replace Gollum. In everything from protecting the palace to filling monsters. This guy's pretty confident in his research. Yes, I am. Yeah, but I have no idea what he's talking about. Can you just hand it over to the elixir? Please. He looks so depressed. Look at him. Although, yeah. Um, so... Should I try attacking the homunculus with my magic? Huh? Yeah, do it. Yes, do your worst. 
Once I apply the elixir, I will notify any magics you throw at it. Okay, I'll give it a try. Here goes! Hmm. Whoa, not holding back, huh? But look, not even a scratch. Alright, next up! Hey, maybe you've the. Take that! Whoa! You hit it with a huge blast, but it's still standing? Ha! Huh. Hmm, see. You had me sweating, I admit, but my frailbit did its job. And it's gonna explode. Um, it's acting a little strange, though. What? That can't. Uh oh. It's gone berserk! Uh-oh, we better stop it! Can I use magic? Oh, it's level 80. Yeah. That's a, it's a boss. No, it's just no. No. Yeah. My blade will light the That's way. Character. That's Elma. How come your new character is already at level 80? I've been playing this game for for a long, long so you time. Just grinded? No, I have a lot of scroll. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> I have a lot of scroll. <laughs> I see, because I was like, did you just grind the XP dungeon like no. non-stop every day? Phew! Crisis averted. No way. My research. My research has room for improvement, I guess. Thank you, young mage. Ah. Uh, See, that's how confident people behave, right? That's how they handle failure. So he's a great example. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Huh, so that's that. He's not just confident, he's also a positive thinker. You should know that many members of the guilds are less than friendly to mage. Mostly because those who aspire to, to alchemy don't know magic himself. Also a political reason, of course. Really? Actually, I was one of them, but now a mage helped me make a breakthrough in my research. If you're willing, I'll be honored to calibrate in the future too. Aww. Yeah, of course. We made friends. Oh, I almost forgot. This is the elixir you need, right? Yay. Elemental of rejection. Okay. Well, we're on our way to, to getting all the elixir. I got two more, two more to go. All right. But yeah, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of squirrel. I've been playing a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So that's a lot of squirrels. Yeah, I have a like I have a lot a lot less because I I got a bunch of new characters and I upgrade, upgraded all of them. Yeah, well I can mm -hmm. see that they're always at full level. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, cool. I'm gonna do an old one. Hmm. Sorry to interrupt your work. Oh, Alma's apprentice, I presume. Come for Melix, sir, have you? I imagine you're surprising you that without you saying a word. I I don't get it. How did you know what we we're going to ask? The elixirs of, of insight I develop and extend the spiritual sense to grant awareness of all things. I can't see into the futures. I merely read your attention through the tiny vibration around you. Yeah, well, that's a good elixir to have, old man. Yeah. Huh. Is this guy really an alchemist? He sounds more like one of these mountain sage. Well, I get what he's talking about. Oh, really? <laughs> Is that so, young mage? A layman who understand my research? Hmm. Then let us have a little Q&A session to test the truth of your, of your word. Q and I? Um, I think he means a kind of quiz. Maybe I should have read the book. However, you must answer my query not with words, but with gesture. Huh? I don't see why, but fine by me. I'm happy to waggle limbs instead. What are we playing? Dance Dance Revolution? Alright, let's see what we got. Very well. Let's start with basic question. Hmm, like this. Oh, that reminds me of the Chrono Trigger thing. 
you know, where he does the laughter and he raises oh, the yeah. arm. Oh, yeah, with the, <laughs> yeah, with the clown face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That clown where, face is creepy. Where he gets the, the chrono clone yeah. mm. in the tent. You laugh in the face of alchemy, alchemical truth. Well, I, how about it? this question? This is fun! Surely not. I think my theory is flawed. That can't. Oh, he's dead. Um, is he okay? I've been a fool. I was blind to the world around me. Thank you, young mage. You have led me to the path of truth. What on earth just happened? I don't know. Oh, that's right. You needed the elixir, didn't you? It's an amateur of effort, I'm afraid, but I hope it is of use. It will be. Thank you. Uh, Lele, what did you and that man talk about? What we talked about? Uh... I think he said his little kitty is the cutest in the world. So I asked if I could see it, and then... He told me it's really timid and shy, so no go. And when I saw it, that's a shame, and sometimes cats are like that. He did a kitty impression for me. It was so cute how he lay with his tummy in the air. And then I gave him a little pat. Um, Lele, I get the feelings he was saying something completely different. Oh, you think? But I got the elixir at least, so it all worked out in the end. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's the main thing. I don't know. Alright, well, we're on our way to getting all the elixir. What a weird quest. Or what, 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 what? Yeah. I, I, I thought, like, he would ask me questions from, like, the books or anything. I can't believe I just had to, like, read a little girl say that she patted an, like, old man on the belly. Yes. Yes. It's I, not cute. I mean... It's not cute. All right. I'm gonna do the cat's voice. Oh, he's so adorbs. That's cute. See? Yeah. He's kind of like a paler Georgie. Yeah. Hmm. Is that so? I see. You're talking to that cat? <laughs> Who are you? I'm a cat. <laughs> oh, sorry to scare you. Alma just sent us to get some elixirs. Oh, you're Alma's apprentices. I haven't seen you around. That's right. Alma's gonna make us her apprentices. Were you talking with that cat just now? Yes. It's part of my research assignment. Communication with flora and fauna through temporary spiritual attunement. Ah, uh, what? First, spiritual attunement involves the fifth element that all life uses to sense the spirit realm. Boy, that jargon come pouring out when alchemists talk about their research. Yeah. Um, so there's a potion you can drink that lets you talk to cats. Yes, exactly. Based on that garb, I'm guessing you're a mage, hmm? That must be why you get my research. Uh-huh. That potion sounds wonderful. But I can talk to cats already, so I guess I won't be needing it. You can talk to cats? I find that hard to believe. A natural ability to speak to a species with such distinct spiritual characteristics. Well, it's true, I swear. Then let's have a contest. If you win, I'll know you're telling the truth. Uh, what kind of contest? 
refuge to guess what this kitty is thinking. You're on. Um, I guess I guess we're doing this then. This is meow. Round one, go. Mm -hmm. There's no way you'll trump my elixir's power. Meow. Okay, I'm getting something. The kitty says, thanks for petting me all the time. I'm so fortunate. <laughs> fortunate? Uh, no, that's not it. It was just the back of my neck's itchy. You were right. It can't be. Give us another round, Ruff. Okay, stay facing each other. Round two, go. Meow, meow. <sighs> I'll ace it this time. I could hear Kitty purring in my head. Thanks for all the tasty street treats. I'd love some fish today. That's it. Um, nope. The Kitty just said, you smell like mother. I'm feeling sleepy now. No way. I lost again. I don't believe it. But that reaction means you must be right. It looks like you beat me. I thought my research was flawless. But I guess I still have a way to go. I win? Yay! So you really can communicate with cats lately. Is it some kind of magical power? Would you mind helping me with my research? Of course not. I'd be happy to help out any time. Thank you. Oh, and you said you were gathering elixirs. As you can see, this one's not perfect, but the formula works. It should fit Alma's needs. Yay, nice going, Lele. Thanks a bunch. See you again later. All right, we have the three here now. Let's take it back to Alma. All right. All right, let's finish this floor, guys, and call it a day. It's a fun quest. It's it's a fun it's a fun cute quest. I uh, I like it. I want this cat. Can I? Have this He's, I'm I'm sure you'll be able to have. Of one. course, of course. Did you get them all? There was a l that was a lot faster than I expected. Though, I guess you really wouldn't be fit to be my disciple if you did it any slower. So are you sure it's okay for you to be sitting around here? What do you mean? Well, you said you were busy. Yet you've done nothing but watch <laughs> over us this whole time. <laughs> well played, Aldo. Well played. Oh. Um... Were you worried about us? Aw, oh, she's so sweet, Alma. Sweet. No, no, no. I wasn't watching over you. I was just taking a little rest. Now, did you get my elixirs or not? Yeah, here they are. Will these do? Yes, most definitely. These will be more than enough for you to prove your worth. Oh. And you can use one of these to enhance your homunculus if you like. So Monk will get stronger? Yes, but each elixir will have a different effect on its appearance or characteristics, so choose wisely. You can use elixir to, uh, on the homunculus to change the appearance. The elixir you choose can have terrible effect during battle in the Towers of Virgin Serious. Select like one of its ideal for the party. Effect are only valid. Alright, all right. good, good, good. Party of all, ooh, power of all primary versus to 5 percent type resistance versus 5 percent they just, ooh, that's some good stuff. Um, 
Oh, man. Um, alright. Um, until I'm just plus 25% would be good because I have a lot of mage, power of all party members, or more defense. Um, you pick. Yeah, I know. You're the one who I knows know. the... Um... Elixir of Insight. There you go. Oh, I, I'm just now noticing that one of her hair strands is also a plant. Oh. You're right. It is also a plant. I, I didn't notice that I did that not before. notice that too. All right. The Elixir of Insight, then. This will make your homunculus more intelligent. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's get started, Monk. Was it? Come with me then, Monk. You're doing it here? Don't you need a furnace? For something this simple? Nah, I can just use this instead. Oh, yeah. Didn't you say uh, there were formulas and it's bullets or something? That's right. This is my own personal alchem alchemical tool. And this is how it works. Just set the formula, put the material into the chamber, and fire! Oh. Wow! Monk's gotten so big! Cuckoo! That's how he sounds. That's how he sounds now, but yeah. he's bigger? Yeah. It looks kind of happy. So did it work? Was that a success? Yes, although the dude tripled in size. God damn your butt. Of course it was. It was a perfect success. With the homunculus is strong, nobody could possibly complain about you being my disciples. Will we get to be your disciples now? You do. Now pass me your badge so that I can handle formalities. And done. There you go. Now you can get to the Argentum floor as my disciples. Yay! High five. Yay indeed. Yay indeed. So, you're an Argentum level alchemist, right? Do you usually study on your floor then? Yes, that's right. On my level and above, we're all assigned our own private labs. Come on, I'll show you around. Yay, I can't wait to see your lab! Almost seems a little, a little happier now. Yeah, I doubt she gets many chances to talk to anyone her own age, like Lele. It's all just adults here. I guess that would explain it. Alright, let's go help out Alma so that she can take us to uh, Paracelsus. Right. If anyone's going to be able to explain that incident we saw, it's him. Then let's go to Alma's room. All right, guys, that's going to be a good spot to stop. We cleared the floor, so you, that's right. you seem to be enjoying a lot that episode. Yeah, right? it's fun. It's fun. The atmosphere is fun. The little, like, magic quests are fun. It's the, charming. Yeah, I think it's charming, too. All right. Um. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in really enjoying um, the, this episode. It's a nice zone. It's a nice zone, yeah. Like, those little quests are really nice. Alright guys, that being said, if you like what we do, please hit the subscribe button and the, and the like button guys. Also, please do the same for the other Eden on every social media guys. And if you have the time, hit the go down in the description. There's the link for the Reddit and the Discord. Um, it's a super nice community and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!